Wow, that's crazy. Now, if he goes Snake versus Esam, like that's... Oh, he's crazy! He's crazy! Dang! That, that's actually crazy because he, he trains with MVD. Like, essentially, Esam, main training partner, is the best snake in the world. So I, I, I think Salem's trying to make a statement right now. I, 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 I low-key think he's trying to say he's the best snake right yeah. now. All right, let's see how this goes down, though. Starting on Talon City again. Okay, that was an oddly like slow-paced beginning of the match compared yep. to what we were seeing like this entire top eight. <laughs> All right, so Salem going to utilize these platforms, going to set up all these explosives on there, and we are making it rain. Yep. Just it, another dash attack, okay? Just very simple stuff, just catching him on the landing. Dude, if, if Salem beats Esam with Snake, like, my mind is just blown. It's it's Actually, shambles. shambles. <laughs> like, actual shambles. <laughs> oh, there's a down throw. Really good weight from Esam. Going to catch the landing here. Oh, but a trade once again. Esam already at 80% here. Yep. Oh, I love these simple B reverses just to be able to get around uh, Esam's either Thunder Jolts or Aerials and putting them in a nice position. I loved that geometry from Salem, keeping, keeping himself alive and uh, away from a juggle position. Ooh, no cross up on the nair for Esam, and the Nikita is hunting him down. Great Beautiful. tech, yeah. though. Beautiful <laughs> tech coming out from Esam, using that grenade as well, avoiding everything. What's the edge guard here? Almost gets it. He knew he wanted that directional air dodge. And the anti-air up tilt will take the first stock. Salem does not care that Esam trains with MVD. Yeah, it's like, all right, I'm going to go with this character all day. That's what he's saying, basically. It's like, I, so what if you train with MVD? <laughs> wow, very impressive stuff from Salem. And honestly, just very impressive, like, how fast he picked up the character, honestly. Yeah. Ooh, oh, another man. dare out of shield, man. I mean, we were talking about Snake doesn't have great out of shield options, but that dare is looking mighty fine. Yeah, it's so much damage, too. Yeah, it does a lot of damage. I mean, he's not like comboing off of it, but just the raw amount of damage it does is insane. Yeah, the, the move itself is a combo, basically. Yeah, very, very true. <laughs> yeah. He's trying to get this platform pressure, but Salem, time and time again, is just negating this offense. Uh, Esam trying to open up the doors to Salem's defense and is not cracking. Oh, oh, the, oh man, I okay, thought okay. I thought up tilt out of shield was like, wait a minute, how long do we go for? <laughs> oh, tries to get yo, the yo, 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 yo! Oh, <laughs> I wanted him to like grab him and like hold on to him. Like that would have been so funny. <laughs> oh boy! Alrighty, here we go though. 162 percent on Salem surviving the, the up to 162 percent. You can't shield for a, forever, Salem. This ain't Smash Four, so yeah. eventually that shield will windle down and you will get the shield poke. But Esam with the SD, oh no! Man, I just love how the audience is so emotionally invested whenever Salem's on screen. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like, they, they just don't want these SDs to happen, but of course that Nikita pressure is going to keep Esam really low to the ground, and the quick attack not quite going to be enough. And wow, Salem looking in a very good position here in this game, number one. Okay, yeah. setting up the grenades. The T-Jolts are coming out. Oh, oh yep. the C4 pressure, but still gets the grenade explosion. Oh, that's potentially a big punish. Not going <laughs> to get anything. <laughs> oh, the Cypher <laughs> to get out. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, my God. The snake's just like, I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. does have some of that armor in the beginning, that heavy armor. Quick attack to the ledge. And we're coming in with the T-Jolts. The up tilt not going to connect. Esam not going to nail that tech chase. Big opportunity. Oh, gets oh. a grab. Ooh, with the parry on the last hit as well. Salem looking quite clean here. Okay. And Esam just can't find an opening. Yeah. And this is a big wall of explosions that's keeping them away from each other. And Salem, content with the lead, finally going to get a fair. Oh, man. And just when you think you have me on the ropes, I'll, I'll, I got the kicks, man. I got the kicks on deck. Oh, that Nikita's so scary. Once it starts turning around, it's like, oh, God, what do I do? But the dash attack going to keep Salem in the corner here. Oh, there's a Trump. Wait a minute. But Esam gets the grab, gets the back throw, and that's going to be it. We're on last stock here. Esam is at 162. So if he does get grabbed, that will be down throw in the up tilt. Wait a minute, though, Esam. Is, is, are you going to get come back on again? Don't do this. Don't do this, Salem, man. <laughs> you, you had this game. You had this game. 177. You just need one down throw. You need oh, one yeah, down there throw. There we go. Yeah, that's we're done. That's going to be it. Yep. Okay. The down throw into the up tilt like we talked about. Esam with a uh, aggressive quick attack with all, after all the T-Jolts. I felt like he f maybe felt like he was out of range of the grab, but he was able to pick it up anyway. Yeah. Man, and that, that was actually looking kind of scary. If Esam just got one offstage situation, definitely could have seen him taking that game. And 
maybe I feel like towards the end there, Esam was kind of getting a feel of how Salem Salem's playstyle is for thinking. Because like we pointed out, a lot of these top tiers, you might be able to beat someone that's really good with them, but it, everyone has these different styles, right? Yeah. So I think Esam right now try, trying to get acclimated to the style of Salem Snake. Okay, here we go. Let's see how this goes down. All right, so game number two here. We're going to be on Smashville. I definitely agree here. Esam just wants a smaller condensed stage, yeah. create more of these close quarter situations, and essentially so he can open up the doors of uh, Salem's defense, which was not easy for him to open last game. Yeah, I mean, we saw on Town and City, you had that wide space, and even though Esam was on a top platform, thinking about how to make his way down, just the field of explosions made it much more difficult. At least here, there's less time needed to actually get in on your opponent. Salem crouch, but where's the edge guard? The down air sends him horizontally, not able to get that spike situation. Oh, gets the spike once again, almost gets the double dip, but able to make it back. Another down air, but doesn't send downwards. Unfortunately, he got the sideward hitbox, but he's going to get that fair, close things out here on Smashville. 50% only onto ESAM. And there we go. That's the Pikachu edge guards we need to see on this snake off stage. Definitely uh, the Super duper saving grace of this matchup for Pikachu. Yeah. Ooh, very nice conversion. He's gonna set up off stage. No, the Thunder not gonna connect here for Esam and Salem gonna return with the uh, four tilt into the Nikita drift away. Really good weight on Esam. Yep. Okay, gets that back throw. Oh, air dodge is through. Doesn't even need the grenade to pop him up again. Get another up. Ooh. No directional air dodge from Salem and Esam gonna be up three stocks to one here. Yeah. Definitely could have made it back if he directional air dodge. Yeah, thought, I guess thought he thought he was in the right range and uh, didn't want to overextend himself above the ledge, so. Oh, almost get, he got the punish, but he wasn't able to hit him, like, away from the stage. Like, Salem was able to get onto the stage and that they're connected, but not able to send in the position he Sam wanted him. Okay, back throw. Nikita is alive and rocking. Let's just gonna make it back to the stage before things get too scary. He's Sam going for another Thunder, gonna survive. Man, Isan is living so long, and this Nikita is still out and ready to go. Yeah, Salem one grab away from being able to take the stock. Oh, he doesn't land on the ground and just keep kind of a sitting duck in the air. Now he's going really low. Wow! That was so smart coming out from Isan. I was kind of questioning why he was charging the Skull Bash, and dang, that was so smart. Not. Snake was not the target there. It was the Cypher. And if you hit Snake, if you hit that Cypher, Snake don't get it back. He has to commit to C4. And if you hit it low enough, he doesn't have enough time. And this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Esam is very first in this matchup. Really advanced edge guarding from Esam. And you only, you know, you pretty much only know that when you play someone of a very high caliber right. of that character. Mm -hmm. Very wow. great stuff from Esam. And just got the, I, I'm impressed too because Snake or Salem went really low on that and still just got the cypher timing on that. He just had the right positioning. Okay, we're going to go back to Town and City uh, where Salem won the first game. All right, so I mean, I think I think everyone was shook in the chat. You know, after game one, they're like, yo, wait a minute, wait a minute. But <laughs> calm down, guys. Esam starting to nail his edge guards here. And we'll see if Salem can keep the rat out, man. Like, honestly, once Esam gets in, it's so devastating. So. Salem's defense is going to have to be so, so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, Oops. there's the, yeah, and that's one thing about grenades as well. Since Pikachu has a hitbox on the up B, you will trade with those right. grenades. You want to make sure you avoid just going through those grenades with Pikachu up quick attack. Okay, but Esam trying to go in, does not quite get a chase though. And Salem, again, this is the story that we saw in game one, is that Salem is just comfortable with this amount of range. Oh, unfortunate Dang. mistiming on that forward smash. Yeah, you definitely had the read there. Oh, tech chase situation. Oh, beautiful parry, but the multiple hits, but the downer out of shield got Salem covered. Yeah, parried and then went back in the shield and still able to get the punish afterwards. Another trade working really nicely for Salem. Looked like a little bit rushed, but Esam was trying to go in with the pressure, but Salem is content on this defense on this very large stage. And you just see Esam knowing that that grenade was just pulled. He walked right past it, and there's the up throw thunder, but Salem getting sent to the right. Going to survive there. The grenade almost taking Esam off the top there. Oh, the C4 recovery is, he's going to be too high of a percent. And you sense you can't um, tech certain moves that are just too high in knockback. You can't go into the stage anymore at high percents and just tech it. So right there, the only way Salem could, su could have survived is going off the top. Yep. So just not quite going to work out at all for him there. Okay, now, now that Esam has the lead, the T-Jolts are coming. 
Yep. Okay, now Salem is just content to try and go on the platform. Every little bit of damage with the Thunder Joe is a victory for Esam basically on this game. Yeah, exactly. And he, he's definitely content. Snake, one of the bigger bigger weaknesses of Snake. Yes, you have incredible setup game, but you don't have incredible options of opening someone up. The dash attack is pretty good, but other than that, you're pretty slow on the ground. Yeah. Oh, okay. catches the double jump. There. Wow, he was so close to getting that. Mm -hmm. That was a really smart setup. Yeah. Oh, gonna quick attack. Get that cross up, and Sam was ready for it. Yeah. Maybe thought that he was gonna try to go around him, and it wouldn't be the right distance. But yeah, just gets that up tilt. Keep things even. Oh, but the spike. There's no double jump. Doesn't get the second one. The C4 recovery. He's not ready. He didn't have enough space. Salem losing that second stock. Now he's up an entire stock. He might as well have gotten that dare anyway. Like Salem just could not make it back after yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, at that point, it was that scary. Right now, ooh, with the thunder as well. I like the safe poke coming out from yeah. Sam. Okay, okay, here's on the ledge here. Salem has to make something happen here. He's going to have to start making somewhat some aggressive plays, even though you are that setup character. Because I'll tell you what, Sam is very content with T-Jolting yeah. all the rest of five minutes. He don't, he don't care. He'll yeah. do it. He'll do it for the W. We out here trying to win. Okay, going to get clipped by that quick attack. Putting him off stage. Oh, trying to do a light. Oh, he Air dodge he's done. again? He's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah direct, he's gone. The directional air dodge was not close enough to the ledge. He missed it. He could make it back, but he sunk too low. Esam, you like trying to. <laughs> dang, dang. Everyone's so happy. Like, look at how much Esam fans yeah, we have e out in the crowd. E e Esam has Raging Cherry summon <laughs> su summoning him for water. <laughs> like, he's already gone through one cup. It's going through another right now. Yes, Salem, so many, just off stage, is just not melee working community, out. Yeah, well, I, fun fact, guys, fun fact. This was not only an ultimate tournament. This was an ultimate and a melee tournament. So we have a lot of melee players out in the crowd watching this top eight. And honestly, dang, maybe honestly, not ESAM fans, <laughs> but maybe maybe some Salem haters. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Uh, the, the melee side is very loud. <laughs> I will say that much. They're further away from us, but they're just popping off every time Salem doesn't quite make it back to the stage. But here we go. ESAM is up 2-1. Yeah, and I mean... Uh, once again, we go back to it again and again. Esam's edge guarding, very strong overall as a player. Uh, Esam's edge guarding against Snake, overall just amazing. Probably the best in the business at edge guarding this character because his training partner is MVD, the best, the currently best Snake in the world right now. And Esam is definitely showing it because I know MVD would be super tight if he lost. <laughs> so tight. Yeah. I was like, bruh. What is the point of us playing if you just lose to another snake? I believe I believe Esam said he's not allowed back home if he loses to oh, another really? snake. Oh, okay, really? Yeah, okay. I think that's the rule. Uh, all, right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Here we go. Okay. Another dare out of shield. And guess that dash tag afterwards. Not quite catching uh, Esam drifting back to the ground. But, I mean, time and time again, you know, we're going to talk about it. You know, Salem has had such an amazing performance with a character he's just recently picked up. You can never count him out. I definitely can see Salem taking this to a game five situation. Yeah, but we'll have to see. I think a lot of it is going to bag on who gets his first stock because Esam was going crazy on the edge guards and continue that pressure because he had that confidence on that stock lead. Man, one thing I really want to point out is everyone in this top eight has not gotten hit by down B from, from the C4, from yeah. Snake. They're doing such a good job of avoiding it, and the forward smash connects, and the crowd goes wild. The up smash setup, not quite able to find anything. Ooh. Gets clipped by Nikita, though. One more time, off stage, but it navigates around it. Oh, and that grenade actually kind of working against him because he had the grenade in his hand. He didn't really have an out of shield option, and that's kind of like the flip. Like, you had the insurance on the up tilt, but on the flip around, if you get a shield, you can't really punish. Yep. Oh, and Esam going in before Salem can start getting his setups, just not giving him any room to get anything started. Dodges that up tilt. Wow, gets a spot a dodge, but still. Brave dash attack from Esam. What a call out. And right now, we, whoa! <laughs> what a brave thunder as well. But e, um, Salem not going to pull the trigger and get that up tilt. Really good avoidance. And the mix up, yes, avoiding the Nikitas. Yeah, very smart stuff going underneath the stage and just getting a nice quick attack recovery angle. That move is hard to control, so even like when you bump into the stage, sometimes it'll mess up, but that dash attack gonna get whiffed and the up tilt will be able to take it out. When the brave dash attack gets uh, spot dodge, you know, <laughs> it happens sometimes. Sometimes you gotta take those risks. Oh, the Cypher not gonna break from the neutral air. Yep. Definitely um, not one of the moves that hit. Oh, but we got the jab lock, the forward smash. Not going to be able to do it, but the jump is expended, and he has no jump. He's forced onto the Cypher. He's trying to get back on the stage here. The Another up air. What? Another and Cypher. He's he's still up there. He's <laughs> drifting. He's trying to come back, and okay. finally makes it back to the ground. We're on the ground, boys. Yeah. <laughs> we're, only, we're only at 150, but we're on the ground, yeah, boys. Safe, safe landing. 
All right, down throw, and Salem once again in that position, like pressured off onto that side platform. Esam with a very safe pressuring game, and the platform is not going to stay there forever, Salem. You have to come back eventually. Yep. All and the, the forward air. Yeah, usually doesn't kill on stage, but at that point, you know, at that point, Salem was just taking so much damage from the off stage that it's just like, I get hit by anything, I'm going to die. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Gets those forward tilts, puts them off stage one more time. Okay, wait a minute. Salem setting up. Esam still very healthy though. Like I said, um, very content with throwing out these T-Jolts, making it very clear he's uh, not gonna force the issue with Snake until he's very confident. Gets the pivot grab, and here we are. We got the lightning loops on deck, but the forward air into the up air, not gonna connect for Salem. Yeah, I'm not even sure if that was like intended that forward air because it looked like he didn't really get anything off of it. I think he was just maybe trying to like mash out of it and then like get yeah. a back air or something but was not facing the right direction. But anyways. Like, kind of cool looking. Yeah. He, <laughs> I, always he, he appreciate, <laughs> I always appreciate the drop kick, you know? Yeah. All right, here we go though. 74% already to Salem and is climbing, trying to get that forward Ooh, smash. Ooh, the directional air dodge through the forward smash and the punish. That was very nice from Salem. And we got the up smashes. Conditioned the roll, but was not quite able to connect it. But the up air connects. We're on last stock. Can Salem make and force a game five situation here against Esam? Oh, we're gonna get that back throw. What's the option gonna be? Goes high with the Cypher, and he tries to catch him with the Thunder. Reminiscent of that Hydro Pump earlier from Schroeder, yeah. but not quite gonna be able to find it. All right, and right now, Salem's just trying to chip away, but Esam's got the T-Jolts on deck, approaches in with it. The grenade trades as well, but not really because Esam did not get hit by that. And we got an offstage situation. Salem, who directional air dodge to the ledge gonna work out. Yeah, makes it back just fine. Oh, but the dash attack, still not enough to do. He's got plenty of time before he's gonna uh, die to that. Oh, man. Oh. again, and it confirms into the dash attack, and everyone in the crowd popping off here for Esam. <laughs> <laughs> the entire melee community